steel I have access to is usually very dirty. Handling it in a clean room like this will result in everything becoming dirty too. Also welding and painting steel that isn't clean can lead to suboptimal results like this. The standard method is to wipe it with acetone and take off the mill scale with a sanding or cleaning disc. For a number of reasons I do this in my basement and need to avoid the angle grinding dust getting everywhere. Another option is cleaning it chemically, but I found it to be time consuming and messy. The worst part is dealing with the oily acid that is left behind. There are some angle grinder dust shrouds on the market, but they only take care of about 50% of the dust. A better solution involves a cardboard box with an angle grinder and a cleaning disc and a vacuum. This setup is rather single use due to the box getting torn up quickly. Metal dust also leaks through seams in the box and in the end I still had black goo in my throat. So after throwing together a primitive model in Fusion 360, I went on to build the simple enclosure, which allows clean and fast processing for my 1 meter steel stock. It's basically a box that securely holds the angle grinder, has an opening on the top for various widths of steel, has a vacuum port and air intake. It's made from 9mm plywood, which is plenty strong for the task. The pieces are glued together with wood glue. I also added some foam on the sides of the opening to account for disc wear. Foam allows pushing the steel to the correct depth while keeping the dust inside. I didn't glue the lid in place to allow taking the angle grinder in and out. Instead I used bolts that screw into the threaded plywood. I also 3D printed some knobs. The ideal processing sequence is as follows. I pull the steel towards myself from the middle till the end, rotate three times, then do the other half. It's super quick and only takes 20 seconds or so. There is no dust in the air, in my nose or on the table. The setup works perfectly with one fatal flaw. The angle grinder overheats inside. I'm using 25 euro angle grinder I picked up while grocery shopping, so I'm not too worried. The workaround is to check the temperature of the holding bolts and allow the thing to cool down every few minutes. I'll probably build the next version of this enclosure that only covers the disc itself, leaving the grinder exposed, once this setup stops working. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and see you next time!